Hello everyone, my name is Subhaidullah. I am a software engineer at AppScoot. Today I am going to talk about Kafka Ops request day to life cycle management for Apache Kafka using KubeDB. Here is our table of contents. At first, I will start with Apache Kafka. Then, what KubeDB offers for Kafka? Then I will talk about how Kafka provision in KubeDB. And then our today's topic, Kafka Ops request and upcoming feature and plans. Then there will be a live demo. After that, we'll go to move on Q and A session and Apache Kafka. Apache Kafka is an open source distributed streaming platform. We can also call it a distributed publish subscribe messaging system. Okay, it is used for building real time data pipelines and streaming apps. It is highly scalable, fault tolerant, and high throughput platform. It enables the collection, storage, and processing of streaming data. It has ability to handle high velocity, high volume, and high variety data streams. Okay, here is KubeDB offers for Kafka. If you want to run Kafka cluster on your Kubernetes uh, in a, on any private or public cloud, you have to do lots of things like configuration, authentication. Here, KubeDB can help you to reduce all the time consuming matters to provision in Kubernetes only applying Kafka custom resource manifest with necessary configuration. KubeDB supports Zookeeper-less KRAFT mode. In the previous version of Kafka, Zookeeper was used to maintain the cluster metadata. Now it is maintained by internal KRAFT mode. Okay. KubeDB supports multiple clustering. One is combined mode, another is topology mode. Each of Kafka nodes has a Kafka broker and controller. In combined mode, they store run together to run a node. In topology mode, broker and controller run separately and run dedicated port in dedicated port. Then TLS. If you need to make connectivity through brokers, controller, external clients like publishers, subscribers, KubeDB helps you to make it. You just, to, just need to enable TLS. In the CR manifest, KubeDB will manage all the certificates and others. KubeDB continuously run health checker to monitor Kafka cluster. You can may, may manually turn it off in the Kafka CR manifest. In the secret authentication, you can provide uh, uh, using secret. KubeDB manages all the authentication using secret configuration. We also support for monitoring Kafka cluster using Prometheus and Grafana. And custom configuration. User can run Kafka cluster with their provided configuration through secret. Cross control. Cross control automates the dynamic workload, relevance, and self healing of a Kafka cluster. Our supported version for Kafka in KubeDB is our 3.3.0, 3.3.2, 3.4.0, 3.4.1, .3 .3 .3 and 3.5.1. Okay. Here, provision Kafka using KubeDB. The diagram says that when an user deploy a deploy Kafka cluster using Kafka custom resource. The Kafka cluster will be watched by our KubeDB provision operator and our KubeDB ops manager operator. Provision operator will create services, stateful set, secret, app binding, BBCs, and necessary resources. And ops manager operator will create certificates if you enable the TLS in the Kafka custom resource manifest. And if you enable cross control in the Kafka custom resource manifest, it uh, provision operator will also create secrets, services, and deployment for cross control. Here comes termination policy. Uh, there are two termination policy right now. One is donor terminate, and one other one is wipeout. If you use wipeout in a termination policy, the database will uh, delete and uh, delete all the resources it created earlier. And if you do not use donor terminate, the cluster will not be deleted if you uh, try to delete it. Okay, then Kafka Ops request. Kafka Ops request is a Kubernetes custom resource definitions. 
it provides a declarative configuration for the Kafka administration operation like database upgrade, horizontal scaling, vertical scaling, or uh, rooted certificate or other things. Yeah, day one, you will create Kafka cluster using our Kafka CRD and Kafka will be watched by our provisional operator and provisional operator will create necessary resources like stateful sets or ports. And then in the day two, you want to upgrade your cluster, like you want to rotate your certi TLS certificate, you want to uh, expand your volume and you want to um, expand or scale your uh, resources like memory, CPUs. Then you will create a Kafka ops request using custom resource definitions. It will refer to the uh, our Kafka cluster and then our Kafka ops request will be watched by our kubedb ops manager operator. And ops manager then pause the reconcile of our Kafka cluster and it will scale, upgrade, create or delete necessary resources and update our stateful sets or ports. And then finally ops manager will update our Kafka cluster. Then lastly, the ops manager will resume it and Finally, the ops request will uh, the status will be successful. Okay, here this is how our Kafka ops request works. Okay, installation. To install kubedb on your Kubernetes cluster, use this Helm command. You can easily install kubedb without any problem. Okay, you have to you need a license for this. You can visit kubedb.com to get license. Okay, here is our live demo. First, we'll start with the update version. Okay, let's apply our Kafka custom resource manifest. Yeah. Okay, we have applied the CRD. The pod is creating. Let's see the YAML first. Okay, you can see the YAML of our Kafka cluster. Okay, like other Kubernetes resources, it also has type meta, object meta, and spec section. Uh, in the spec section, we can see that there is a field config secret, and it has mentioned a secret name custom config. We are running our cluster, uh, cluster with this custom config. Uh, you will see later. The version of our Kafka cluster is now 3.4.1. Here, our uh, you can see that uh, we run Kafka cluster in topology mode. There are uh, two things in our topology mode. One is broker and controller. The broker configuration will be given there. And controller is there. Yeah. You can see that we have used default storage is one gigabyte. And you can see the broker and controller replicas, both are two. And now our storage class is standard as we use current cluster is there. Okay, this is our manifest okay we can see that kafka is ready now i want to add check there and see you the version okay let's see the version of our kafka topics sorry i made mistake okay you can see that the version of our kafka is 3.4.1 and now we want to produce some messages and consume it. First, create with this Kafka topic shell. Create a topic. The topic name is sam sample. Partition is two. Replication factor is two. And our common, common config is client auth properties. OK, let's create the topic first. Topic sample has been created. Uh, we want to produce and consume. We exec into another terminal. Here is our producer shell. We have produced to topic sample and we want to consume our topic sample. Okay. Let's produce. Hi. We successfully consume the messages from there. Okay. Now let's update the Kafka cluster with 
another version. Let's apply our OPS request manifest. Update version. Okay, let's apply the, our OPS request. We can see that the Kafka OPS request uh, has been created and it is now in progressing status. Let's see the our manifest. Okay. In the manifest, you can see that type meta object meta. In the spec section, we can see that type of our spec is type of our OPS request is update version and our database or our Kafka cluster is Kafka prod and our target version is 3.5.1. Currently, we are using 3.4.1. Okay. Order is starting with version 3.5.1. We have restarted our port um, by rolling restart. We evict the port and restart the port again. Okay. Controller has been restarted successfully. The broker is restarting. We can see that Kafka, our Kafka cluster has created some secret. You can see that Kafka prod admin credential created secret. And we can see that broker config secret and controller config secret. This is our default secret actually. This is a default config. And Kafka also created some service, two headless service. One headless service is for bro broker communication and our controller service created for controller communication. And this is for our external service that we will use. Okay, last part is restarting. This time editing phase. Let's add the Kafka Ops request because our status is successful. Okay, still terminating. You can also see the unlock our cube DevOps manager operator. You can see the log auditing the pause the Kafka cluster and finally resume the Kafka cluster. So the Kafka OPS request strategy is successful. Let's see the version. Okay, the version is upgraded to 3.4.1 to 3.5.1. Let's exit into the port and see the Kafka topic version. You can see that the updated the cluster has been successfully updated to C3.5.1. Okay. Our next ops request is reconfigure. We have a, this is our old configuration that we use, currently used and we will use this configuration uh, that we are using. If I see, uh, see the configuration of our Kafka cluster, you can see that current log directory is slash var slash custom slash config. This is our, uh, this old configuration. We want to upgrade logdoc directory to logdoc uh, slash bar slash reconfig. Okay. Let's apply our ops request reconfiguration and wait the status successful. Okay, let's see the ops request of our reconfigure. In the CRD, you can see that the API version and the type meta, object meta, and spec section, the previous one was updated version and now is reconfigured. The database refers the same database we are referring. And config secret is we are uh, using this secret for con reconfigure. Let's see the secret if I get the reconfigure secret. We can see that we have updated our log directory to slash bar reconfig and metadata log directory also update for controller properties also. Okay. The Kafka port are restarting. It is in a progressing mode. Okay, let's see our KeepDB Ops Manager log. You can see that successfully paused. We can see that the Kafka cluster has been successfully reconfigured with new configure. 
there is no error it's going oil okay let's wait all the port been restarted or not okay last port have to be started it is now in terminating terminating mode okay running so it's tested as being successful okay Kafka has been resumed successfully that means our office request is successful okay now let's see our uh, let's exit our port and see the configuration again the if the configuration has been updated or not yes the log directory pos on us was slash bar slash custom config now is slash bar slash reconfig okay Kafka class has been reconfigured successfully we will now move on to our vertical scaling before started our vertical let's apply our vertical scaling ops request first okay apply our vertical scaling first we will see our kafka cluster vertical scaling or our current resources kf in our kafka cluster yml we can see that we are using resources is 500 millicore and memory is one gigabyte also here con for controller we are using cpu 500 millicore and memory is one gigabyte okay it will be updated the updated we have pos to cre let's see the ops request vertical scaling yaml we can see that we are we are requesting to scale the vertical uh, resources with uh, 502 millicore and memory is uh, 1100 mill uh, megabyte and for controller we are using cpu is 19 1900 99 millicore and memory is 1249 megabytes okay let's show it the kafka ops request being successful the last port yet yet to be restarted Okay. The Kafka Ops is still in focusing mode. We can see the log there. You can see that Stateful has been successfully upgraded with resources. No error still. Okay, last part is terminating. Let's wait. Okay, the last part is running now. And we can see the messages from our office manager lock. Uh, yeah, Kafka has been resumed successfully. So, ops is also successful. Now, you can you can see the YAML again? We can see that the previous one was we have changed the resources now is 1000 millicore and 1250 megabyte, and here is a request is changed with 500 to 502 millicore. Okay, we can say that the uh, vertical scaling has been successfully done okay our last ops request is horizontal scaling there will be two horizontal scaling we the first one is we will scale up and then we will scale down our uh, pro port first uh, the broker uh, here is we can see that broker will be scaled up to three and here we can see that again the broker will be scaled down to two okay Let's apply our horizontal scale up. Okay, sorry. We are applying the scaled up. Okay, applying. Let's see the our manifest ops request. 
in our manifest, we can see that we have pierced in the spec.tybase original scaling. Database reference is the same database we are using. And in the horizontal scaling section, there is a field topology. In the topology field, we have broker and controller. We are uh, saying that broker will be three and control will be three. Okay, so the previous broker was two, now scaled up to three. And uh, here we can see the previous controller was two, now is control is three. And we need to restart in the horizontal scaling because there is a configuration controller.quram.photos. Uh, it is a static configuration that um, it is not be updated in the real time. So we must need to restart our controller and broker port to reconfigure with a new port or new broker. You can see, okay, bro, what has been starting has, okay. We can see the log of KubeDB. Yeah, so controller scaled up successful. Uh, we can see that broker scale successful. So now reconciled successful. Now they are restarting. After sometimes we will get a message that Kafka has been restarted successfully. Let's say it the Kafka manager can successful and the log the Kafka reconcile is resumed. Okay. Broker is restarting. We can also see the provisional log operator. You can see also because of pause the reconcile, it is not giving any log. Okay, last part is need to be restarted. It is in now in terminating pole mode. Okay, let's see the awesome manager log again. It is still in terminating. We're waiting to resume our consolation, reconciliation of provision or operator. We're waiting for the masses. Okay, the last part has been restarted. Okay, we got a message Kafka has been resumed successfully and the offset request also successful. Okay, let's see. Let's exit into the port, our port, and see our metadata, cluster metadata. In our metadata, we can uh, uh, now can see that uh, the current booter is three, our three controller, zero, one, and two, and current observer are three brokers. The broker starts from 1000 and onwards. So we can see that uh, our new brokers and controller are successfully in our cluster. So this is it. Uh, now we want to create topic with three replica in sync replica, and we want to see in our uh, horizontal scale down. Is it working or not? Let's create another topic. Then topic name will be sample one and partition will be three and replication factor will be also three. Okay, let's create it. And let's see the topic description using our Kafka topic description shell. We are, okay, description. Here we can see that replicas are three, we are replication factor is three and in sync replica uh, for three partition is also three. Now we will apply our horizontal scale down of some ops request. Let's exit and apply our 
horizontal scaling down YAML. Okay, now ops request CRD has been created and the status is progressing. Broker is terminating. The controller will be also terminate because we are scaling down our broker and controller to two. Let's see our ops request original scaling down manifest. You can see that broker will be two and a controller two. This is our expected broker and controller. Okay, then we can see our other QDB ops manager lock that is scaled down or not. Can that there is a message successfully scaled down broker and there will be also a message for controller okay you can see that a node just left the our cluster yeah there another message successfully scaled down our controller and there is a message also successfully reconciled the Kafka with modified node. Okay, Kafka is now restarting. Okay, let's do it. We can see also that there is no lock in our provision operator because this is in our this is in pause mode. There is no lock after that. Okay, controller has been restarted successfully. Now restarting broker port. Okay, last one. This is terminating. We can see our loss manager. Okay, last part has been restarted. The progress strategy is still progressing. Let's wait for a few seconds. Okay. We can see that the Kafka has been resumed successfully and the cluster is status is ready. Every of request is successful. Okay, now we want to add check into our board and we want to see our topic description. If I see the topic description, we can see that rep rep replication factor was previously two because of three broker. broker. Now broker has been scaled down to two. So the replica replication factor of the topic sample one has reduced to two. And we can see that the leader is and replicas and in sync replicas. So I think we can say that the horizontal scaling has been successfully done. Now we want to move forward. This is all about our demo section. Now, this is our future plan. The support for Kafka Connect cluster, it helps to import data from external system into Kafka topics and export data from Kafka topics into external system or database. And second one is termination strategies flexibility. Two more termination pol policy will be added. User can use with more flexible way to terminate their cluster. And the third one is health checker improvement. We'll improve health checker. We are now producing messages only in the health checker. We will also add consuming messages, make health checker a lightweight and less time consuming. And the fourth one, extending monitoring support. We will add more monitoring tools to monitor cluster summary and more insights of the cluster. This is all about our future plan. Our Kafka ops request will be in our next QDB releases. 
so that's all from my side